things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Because, you see... I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Luke, my boy, do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? Oh no, this is an altogether unique and exciting situation, and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Two months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow! That's some puzzle, all right. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. It certainly sounds like you two would have gotten along, Professor. By the way, just what is this golden apple anyhow? Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it could be a gem. Yet its identity remains elusive. But look, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. Something huge. Ha! Huh. Is that your famous intuition acting up again, Professor? Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. This is all so exciting! I hope St. Mystere is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. <laughs> oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. And you immediately decided to take her up on her request, huh? Oh, well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. If you say so, Professor. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. You got it! 